My name is Adrian Toucher. I work in Matils Engineering and I'm Group Leader for Sustainable Aluminium Strategies. Matils Engineering is, is a department that sees the introduction of innovative new materials into the vehicles from concept all the way through to production. Within Jaguar Land Rover, we're challenging ourselves to increase the recycled content of our vehicles. We have a future target of getting to 75% recycled content on a specific aluminium sheet alloy, but we're also looking to increase our recycled content in all our other components. I'm sat in the new Jaguar F-Type, which is an incredibly exciting sports car, and this represents the pinnacle of Jaguar design in terms of use of aluminium. The entire body on this car is made from aluminium, Principally we're using sheet aluminium, we're using cast aluminium and we're using extruded aluminium. And all those parts are joined with structural adhesive and rivets. A long term benefit using aluminium of course is that it is fully recyclable so this car will live a very long life but ultimately when these cars reach the end of their life they can be fully recycled back into new products in the future. Aluminium is of strategic importance to JLR because it is really ensuring that we can, we can deliver our lightweight vehicle strategy. Aluminium Bites Nature has a number of sustainability benefits. Firstly, we look to use as much recycled material in the material at the start. Secondly, during the, the driving, the use phase of the vehicle, we get the benefit of light weighting, which means reduced tailpipe emissions. And the third phase is ensuring that we get as much material back from the vehicle end of life phase. So there's really three steps to, to get the full benefit of using aluminium. We're working very closely with our supply base to ensure that we're closing the loop for our production scrap. So when we process material through our manufacturing facility, sheet aluminium goes in, it gets pressed into a form, into a panel. The scrap then gets segregated out as a separate loop and that gets supplied back to our supplier Novellis to ultimately be recycled back into new aluminium sheet to go back into our vehicles. Currently we're developing a, a number of projects looking at increasing the recycled content of the aluminium in our vehicles and we actually have a couple of streams of projects under the title of Real Car. Real Car stands for Recycled Aluminium Car and the projects are developing the next generation of aluminium greys to allow a higher recycled content so when you're driving the car on the road it actually has less carbon impact during the production phase, during the making phase of the material. We have a second project running which is called Real Car 2 and that's looking at the potential to source material from post-consumer waste streams, so that's typically drinks cans, because aluminium is such a valuable resource, not a single shred of aluminium should really go into landfill. So we're looking at ways of bringing that material and putting it back into high quality automotive sheet and consequently back into the Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles. My favorite subject at school was science. Even in the early days, I had a, an interest in engineering, an interest in materials and I re could recall as a youngster spending a lot of time building Lego models and making model kits and ultimately that went on to making radio controlled boats and cars and planes etc. So I had a, from a very early age I had a real interest in, in technical and uh, materials and, and manufacturing related items. When I left school I decided to go on and study more specifically in the engineering area. I started with a national diploma for two years in engineering I then progressed on to a higher national diploma again for another two years and then transferred on to the second year of a mechanical engineering degree and as part of that degree I did a materials based final year project and that really locked my interest in materials it was specifically looking at aerospace carbon fibre materials but that's really what where my departure into the materials area started. Once I finished my mechanical engineering degree I then got a job in industry. I worked in the steel industry, the area I worked for was giving customer technical support to the automotive manufacturers and then I moved directly into the car industry in 1999 and I subsequently joined Jaguar Land Rover in 2002 in the Matils engineering department. I'm very fortunate in the, in the 12 years I've worked at Jaguar Land Rover I've been involved in several vehicle launches and nearly all the mainstream models that are available in the showroom now I've worked on or I've, my team have worked on. There's a real achievement with, with launching a car and you, you know that your 
intellect, your technical input has gone into that vehicle as part of a, a larger team. It's great to see the final products on TV and getting a full road test and knowing that the whole team was able to contribute to that and make a, an incredibly desirable product. If I was doing the D and T challenge, I would propose looking at innovative areas where you can use aluminium. That's really focusing on the attributes of aluminium, which is lightweight and a sustainable product as well. So it's really looking where you can to make the best use of recycled content at the start and also look at options with recycling at the end as well.